So before I get into who, what, where, and why, uh, I just want to start off with this slide. So uh, many of you are familiar with the, the famous character from the board game Monopoly. Now, the reason I bring this up right off the bat is this was my personal first introduction into what money is, how money worked. So as a young kid, seven, either seven, eight years old playing this game, I had never had any reason to understand what money was until I played this game. In this game, there are set defined rules, set defined quantities of assets, set defined quantities of money. There's only $20,580 that the bank has, and they can't print anymore, and this is what you have to work with. What I thought at the time was that this game in some way emulated the real world, except for the fact it's real money and real, and real properties. Well, after growing up, I realized that's not true. So as many of you or all of you are in the fintech space, some of this is maybe information that you already know, but I thought I'd take some time to highlight it for you now. So did you know that out of the $1.2 trillion of US dollar bills and coins that are circulating, only two thirds are, in, are held overseas? Another fascinating fact and one that's really pertained to the cyclist solution is that most businesses on average spend about $42,000 a year on transaction fees if they process about $100,000 per month. And the last one, which I'm sure many of you can agree on or have been, have realized over a period of time, is that 95% of all transactions that happen in the US or Canada are not with cash. So this brings us to what Cyclebit is. So we're focused on empowering retailers to leverage cryptocurrency and blockchain technology to earn more money. That's as simple as it is. And how do we do this? Well, there's a three key factors. First, we lower transaction fees. We are the only crypto payment processor in the world that offers a 0% transaction fee for our online and our offline product. Additionally, with, with cryptocurrency transactions, there are no chargebacks. Once a transaction is recorded onto the blockchain or onto a ledger, you cannot reverse it reverse it. And this has become a massive problem for a lot of small to medium-sized businesses. And the last key aspect is it's a faster settlement process. Now, this means that most credit card transactions take between two to three days before they get settled in your bank, whereas crypto transactions take two to three hours. And for small to medium-sized businesses, getting something settled quicker allows them to spend on payroll, marketing, and any other initiatives they may have. Additionally, what we offer is that we, we allow our merchants to settle in their local currency, which is business as operational as normal, so they don't have to adopt some new type of technology and shorten that learning curve. Now I'm going to quickly highlight two of the products that I'm going to show you guys today, our offline and our online solution. First is our online solution, the Cycle e-commerce gateway. Uh, we have different options for this. One, we can either integrate directly to shopping carts, uh, popular ones like uh, WooCommerce, Shopify, and Magenta, which have already been complete, or we can offer you a REST API. And with either the help of our developers, or if you have your own developers, you can embed that onto your website, and you're ready to start accepting crypto payments. Our second solution is for the offline world. It's called the Cycle 5 POS. This is a mobile POS that we have uh, put in, it's ready to go to market that it is the first in the world that offers, that accepts, sorry, cash, credit, debit, and crypto all in one. And I've highlighted some of the other additional payment processes, including Apple Pay, Android Pay, uh, Samsung Pay, and then I've, I've highlighted additional cryptocurrencies that we offer and accept. Now, just one second. The demo going. All right, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys, this is our online solution. This is visiting one of my favorite e-commerce web stores. I click a product that looks good. I click on the pay with crypto button. At this point, for KYC purposes, I'm asked to fill in the information, my personal information. Quickly do that, click pay with cycle. At this point, I pick the cryptocurrency that I would like to pay with, Bitcoin Cash, with a little transaction fees. 
generates a QR code, take that information, verify the three Canadian dollars, that's what the conversion is. I copy the wallet address, I pull up, pull up my bird trusted word wallet, I paste the address, I send the funds, and get confirmation on my end. And in a few seconds, the transaction is complete. So that's how quickly and easy anyone can do an, on an online transaction. Now for offline transaction, this is gonna be the merchant perspective. So I launched the CycleBit app on the mobile POS, pick the goods. Uh, I think I'm gonna pick an Apple today, grab one of those. All right, price looks good. Add it to the cart. Uh, I think that's an Apple's good and pay for it. Again, at this point, I get to pick between a cash or crypto or debit. This generates a QR code on the mobile POS. Here it is. I scanned the code, the QR code with my personal wallet that I'm paying with as a customer. Send that over and in a few seconds, the merchant gets a verification that the transaction is done. Prints a paper receipt and it's business as usual. So this is, uh, so we, these are just a couple of the products that we have so far. There's a couple other ones that I'm not really gonna get into, but I can quickly touch upon. Uh, we've also built a solution where using our credit card, uh, customers can go to our website and actually purchase cryptocurrency. That's, that's a new feature. And we also have a, with our partners at Tangem. So we've, uh, we've been able to embed their SDK. Uh, so if you guys don't know what Tangem is, Tangem produces uh, bank notes that also act as core, cold storage wallets. And with, this, with the Tangem SDK embedded onto our, our mobile, mobile POS devices, we are the first ones in the world to offer tap payments for crypto. So as long as you have your, your, your tangent card, tap on our device and it, you're good to go. Um, so the evolution of blockchain and cryptocurrencies is about 10 years old. The adoption is, is you know, has, has grown significantly over a period of time. To date, there's about 50 million blockchain wallets out there. Um, you know, cryptocurrency transactions volume per day has been growing. It's now reached 6 billion per day. And, and massive brands, massive popular brands have started adopting cryptocurrency and that means a few, which I'm sure you guys are aware of as well. So at this point, I quickly wanna to touch upon some of our team members, some of our experience and why we're gonna succeed. Uh, this is personally my fourth startup. I've had two previous exits, my second one in the payment space, my second one in the cryptocurrency space. Uh, Pavel has been, uh, was the original founder of CycleBit. He's been in the payment space for the past 22 years. Uh, he's currently leading another company called iBox out of Russia, where they own 80% of the market share for small to medium-sized businesses doing traditional payments. And uh, their turnover last year was about $1.87 billion that have gone through their system. So it's an experienced team that has been payments for a long time. Uh, ben Tran is an experienced sales director. He's worked for some, some of the world's biggest brands. Uh, including Sony and limited brands, and uh, is a world-class business developer as well. Uh, and then I'm going to touch upon quickly on two of our advisors. Uh, Stefan Russ was the former CEO of Bitcoin.com and a huge advocate for the payment space in the cryptocurrency industry. And we also have John Kim as part of our advisory team, who is the head evangelist for the Litecoin Foundation and a pioneer for the adoption for cryptocurrencies. Um, so... These are, and I also want to talk to you guys a little bit about some of our attraction. Uh, currently, we're live and operational in Canada, in the States, in Thailand, in Hong Kong, and we're going into Japan very soon. Uh, to date, we have about 250 different retailer customers that are going through our system. Uh, and like I said, we offer not just a debit, but the full solution. So either we can be a complement to what you already have as our standalone piece, or we can take over your existing system. We also have another product called MyCycle, which is a uh, merchant dashboard that's been built and has been used today, where you can upload inventory, you can track sales. Uh, you can connect to different accounting software and, and just run, your, run, and run and optimize your business as, as smooth and easily as possible. Uh, we also have a pilot program launching in the States as of next month with a company called Currency Exchange International. 
they're a brick and mortar currency exchange. Our pilot will be with 11 locations, uh, mostly in the southern parts of the state between California and Florida. And where traditional brick and mortar locations where customers for US dollars will be able to go in and purchase crypto. So this has been a year in the making. There's a lot of regulations and, and red tape that we had to go and jump through. But uh, we're at that final stage where we're, where we're training some of the tellers of how to use our system. And uh, it should be hopefully going live in less than, less than three weeks. Um, so these are some of the things we're working on, some of the traction that we have so far. And uh, that concludes my presentation. Happy to answer any questions for you guys. If anybody wants to get in touch with me, feel free to reach out with me, to me at samir at I'm happy to answer any of your questions at this point. Thank you. Wonderful. Um, great presentation, Samir. Uh, there's an yeah. element for me and that kind of should be part of the presentation. So if I'm kind of looking at, you know, you've got the traditional consumer, um, you know, and today really we have kind of four payment methods, right? Cash, <laughs> yeah. um, cash, credit, or, you know, potentially crypto. Where I look and say, the point that you made on, you know, the saving of fees at the end of the day, right? Like, it's really hard for me to want to pay cash with a debit card, like a hey, cash, forget it. After COVID, I'm really not touching money. Mm -hmm. um, debit, I have zero motivation, right? Like, unless you're willing to give me at least a 4% discount, because I'm, it's already embedded in the price, whether I pay you cash or I put it on my credit card. So I prefer to get 4% in terms of aeroplane points or something exciting like that, right? Like, yeah. it, it's factored in. And so moving to the uh, using uh, crypto as a currency, I guess at the end of the day where I'm trying to figure and, and, and it's a little bit kind of part of that pitch to pull me over, mm -hmm. you haven't compelled me in, in that demo to say why I want to be using that crypto. Because today I actually could be getting, I think I can, a credit card, which is giving me 30 days of free financing and paid in crypto at the end of the month. Where is... Okay, so... I Sorry, go ahead. Just finish your question. No, so, so that one, yes. Uh, I just if we can talk to that one. The second component is now we're kind of pushing on to the merchant of pricing in crypto, uh, which pre, you know kind of gets a little bit more complexity because at the end of the day, they're pricing you know kind of in a standard, whether it's a Canadian currency, and I'm doing a conversion on site to crypto on the price of that day of crypto, everything else. And so mm -hmm. I'm just trying to figure how you get that adoption moving forward. And those are two things that I think would add more to your demo to add them in. I like the product. I get kind of where we're going, but those are kind of two hurdles. Okay, absolutely. So the first part of your question, uh, we're B2B focused. Um, so our focus is to attract as many mergers on as, as many mergers as possible and to eventually to essentially save them on transaction fees. Now, um, when, you know, you as a consumer, yes, you're incentivized to use, whether it's points, rewards, or other things for a credit card company to use your credit card. But in terms of, of merchants, uh, you know, they can pay anywhere between 2.2 to 4.5%, depending on what card you use as the user. So it's, it's, it's to really to work, it's to empower retail to help them with their bottom line. Now, the second part you asked about, you know, do they have to learn about you know, the price of an Apple, what is that converted to Bitcoin? Our system does everything for them. So if the Apple costs 50 cents, the consumer sees what that, what that 50 cents and what that converts into Bitcoin. The consumer accepts it. The merchant receives 50 cents in Canadian dollars. So to them, they don't need to understand anything different from the fact that what they normally do and how they price their goods normally, it's, it's business as normal, but it's on the consumer that sees that conversion and accepts that, that fee or that, that conversion, that, that whatever that real-time payment is. So I hope that answers your question. Yes, it does. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's interesting. So you're taking the FX risk on both the purchase and the sale of crypto because you're, you're receiving crypto and then you're converting it to the local currency. Yes. So you're you're taking some FX risks that the yeah. that the that it might move. So so do you take a spread? Is that is that how you how is that how you take your fee? You pay charge your fees? Uh, so we work with local exchanges depending on the jurisdiction that we're in. Most most exchanges, um, you know, in this process in terms of the payment, you know, think about the exchanges like the acquiring bank that's in the middle. And most exchanges have a spread on on crypto that they sell. So we take our our cut from that side. But there is, but the, you know, the volatility of certain currency going up and down, we hedge that and that's our gain or our loss as a company. 
And then what is it? What is it? What is a terminal like? Are, what are you charging the the, uh, the merchants? So they have zero transaction fees, but are they are there monthly fees or are there daily fees? Like, what are you charging for the term for a terminal today? Well, we we have a one time fee for the actual terminal, the physical MPEG POS, uh, and they and that, that's it. There's no there's no monthly fees. There's no our, our merchant dashboard is free. Uh, we, we don't charge anything additional, and then. If, and then, like I said, we also offer the credit card side, right? So, so we're very competitive with that. Uh, right now, we're a registered ISO with Nuvi, which is formerly Pivotal Payments. So we're moving to become a payment facilitator, so we have full control of that, that uh, merchant onboarding experience. Uh, so that's currently how we, uh, we operate. Yeah, no, I think I think your your approach of of bridging, you know, being a being able to accept credit card cash. I don't know who's going to use cash anymore, but it's still out there declining. Mm -hmm. Um, is going to be is an absolute necessi necessity because you're just you're not you're not seeing mass adoption of cryptos yet, and it could be, you know, another ten years. Who knows, really? I mean, it's who, who knows in terms in terms of when, until you, you see that mass adoption. So, well, um, I mean, so having a bridge technology is super critical. Yeah. So right now we're, we're doing just under about ten thousand MR, MRR, and it's about an eighty twenty split between fiat and crypto. That's going through our system so far. Yeah, that makes that makes a lot of sense. Good solid demo, though. I mean, uh, it'd be nice to see that. No, thank you so much, and uh, appreciate all the questions and the feedback so far.